hello everyone today in this video we will learn that how we can generate the screenshot using javascript so basically we are going to take the screenshot our web browser and then save this into our computer right so before this i'm going to give you a demo that how it's going to work so this is the school app i'm, I'm doing this for my client okay so now let's uh, go to the not announcement let's go to the advertisement where they can um, pass the input to the system and generate the ad uh, with two types of uh, file the first one is they will they will generate the pdf and then they will generate the image so let me generate it without any inputs so how it's going to validate these inputs right so if i did not pass pass these inputs it's going to not going to execute these libraries right it's going to return back and then tell us that these fields are required right and yes it's telling us that these fields are required so let me pass these field okay i'm going to pass the date let me change the month okay so now it's 7 6 to 7 and website is our website to uh, cdlcell.com so first i'm going to generate the pdf ad so let's click on this generate okay i have changed this uh, web browser because my uh, existing browser contain the cache so it's not going to load the newer page right that's why i uh, open this into incognito and generated this pdf so now let's click on this generate image so first we are going to preview it and then we are going to generate different type of images right so it's pretty straightforward so this one admissions are open not open opened okay available courses we pass these three courses these dates right and this website right so it's uh, now looks good so let's click on this download to jpg ad let's click on this png and you can generate multiple ads using different types so now let's click on this so this one is a pdf ad right so it's generated this pdf app look like this so it's the uh, extension is dot pdf right so let's click on this uh, jpg and it's generated this jpg right so it means that it's taking the screenshot of uh, which we preview and then it's going to generate the images from these uh, from this pdf uh, from this uh, preview right so how you can do this so let's go here now go back into the project so here let me pause this uh, project and uh, let me go to a new a newer project i created a new project which name is screen capture right so it's pretty straightforward project where i will uh, first uh, i'm going to tell you that how you can take the screen chart so i have also open it here so now let me go to the welcome blade file which exists by default in the laravel i'm going to implement this into the laravel application so you can do it in any of your application it's totally upon you okay so how you can uh, install this uh, library so you don't need to install this so you need to just add these cdn right so before these cdn you need to add the you need to add the jquery cdn so let's search this here jquery cdn you can also go to, uh, visit the jquery website and get the cdn from there but i'm not going to do this because uh, i'm going to type jquery cdn and i will get this cdn from there it's the name of the thing i'm going to tell you that what i'm going to on this thing so it's highlighting the cdn for me to grab the cdn from the website and then um, add this at the top right so if you don't know uh, how to do this, uh, how to install this, so let's go to the Google and type add grapper answer. Uh, not uh, this, uh, you need to type uh, grapper extension. So basically it's going to the original website and uh, get the uh, get the uh, top answer and um, put it at the top. You don't need to visit the website. Okay, so now let's uh, come back in the HTML welcome blade here i'm going to add this at the top right so let me remove these uh, no i'm not going to remove this styling because it's going to drop the style okay let's add it here okay then you need to go here go back and then copy these script file and paste them here i'm not going to take about any of the indentation right and then you need to copy this javascript code right so let's copy this and go to the go down before the end of body because we are going to implement this through this uh, 
welcome blade so paste it here and then you need to uh, here first you need to need a download button which contain an id of download so let me generate a button create a button here i'm not going to do i'm not going to i'm not sure that where it's going to create it so here i'm going to name this download and let me assign the id which we referencing here id would be download right and then we need one more so user info this name will be generated user dot info so you can uh, pass it a time which will generate the unique uh, images right so you can convert the time into the integer format and then every time you need to pass this uh, here and then you can generate the different type of images you can generate the jpeg right it's totally one you just pass it here and then it will generate the jpg or png images and one more thing here you need to specify that uh, specify the preview area right so which area you want to take the screenshot so here let's copy the photo and i want to take the screenshot of this uh, whole uh, whole this web page right so i'm going to take this screenshot from this here id bound let's uh, paste this here and now let's go to our web browser and open the localhost 8000 so it's going to uh, open the welcome blade for us right so localhost 8000 okay, let me also check the video size is it uh, no it's not going uh, bigger right and yes this Im uh, this is loaded and there is a download button right so now i'm going to click on this image uh, click on this uh, download button it's clicked oh we need to uh, also make sure that this would be a hover button so user know that we are uh, on the button right so now this image is generated so let's click on this and it's going to open this image so it's generated a full uh, image from this file why it's generated from there because we pass it from the body to uh, at the end of script right so if you want to uh, move uh, to a specific like you don't want to uh, take the screenshot of this laravel so you can do this from there like this right so how you can do this just change the id cut this id out from there and then add this uh, here this one is a um, apg and this one is a uh, i think this would be the section which we are going to generate the output right i'm not sure i think it this would be uh, good where is our documentation so i think this would maybe it's not going to generate the exact image because i did not find this id that uh, where it's located so it's going to generate it from there or something like this so you need to pass it to to a specific uh, div and then it's going to take the screenshot from this div right and yes now it's generated from documentation it's taking the screenshot after the image right so you can generate uh, it anywhere you need to just specify the exact uh, div id and then it will generate the images uh, generate the screenshot from this specific div right so hope you get an idea that how you can generate the images and by the way if you are not familiar uh, with me my name is uh, hadayat niazi and uh, I'm full stack web developer. I'm shooting different playlists and different tips and tricks on the Laravel. And by the way, also I'm shooting different videos, tips and tricks on the daily basis. So you can get the daily updates from this channel at 11 a.m. according to the Pakistan time. And you can also get the tips and tricks from this community tab at the daily basis, right? So if you like this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay connected. Bye bye.